They say, first impressions matter. I say, good ear impressions are what really matters. The success of a custom product fitting relies on the quality of the ear impression. The poor impression can result in insufficient acoustic seal and the custom product not sitting deep enough in the ear canal. This can lead to a less discreet device, less gain, less comfort, and more feedback. That is a recipe for an unhappy client. That's why we at Phonak have created this easy tutorial to help you achieve perfect impressions every time. First, I examine Jerome's outer ear and ear canal. He's a great candidate for an ear impression because he has a clear, healthy ear, free of wax and ear abnormalities. Then I select the correct size of Otoblock. You don't want it too big or it will create pressure in the ear canal, and you don't want it too small or impression material could push past it. Slightly pull the ear up and out to straighten the ear canal. Then brace while you insert the block. It must be placed past the second bend in order to achieve a deep enough impression. The otoblock should be approximately halfway down the ear canal, which can be easily checked with an otoscope. While bracing, place the tip of the syringe into the ear canal as close to the otoblock as possible. Fill the ear canal and continue filling the helix, bowl, and tragus area. Be sure to always use small, circular motions whilst applying constant pressure. Always have the end of the nozzle in the material to avoid creating air pockets or creases. It takes a few minutes for the impression material to harden. To check this, gently push your fingernail into the impression. If no mark is left, the impression is fully set. To remove the impression, twist it in the direction of the client's nose. Afterwards, evaluate the health of the ear using the otoscope. Then, evaluate your impression for accuracy. The perfect impression should go past the second bend. It should be free of air pockets and creases. And the impression material should come in direct contact with the full face of the otoblock. If you do not feel 100% satisfied with your impression, then you can't expect your client to be 100% satisfied with their custom hearing aid. Therefore, don't hesitate to try again. Your client will appreciate this much more than having to come back for another impression or a remake. You can clearly see the effect that a good impression has on the fit of a custom hearing aid. A good impression makes all the difference.